got the shirt, I've got the earrings, the baby Grogu. Yeah, I think I'm ready for this video. Hi there, my name is Sonnet. I love to talk about books, crochet, and all things crafty. And in today's video, Star Wars. That's right, today, the day that I am releasing this video is one of my favorite days of the year, which is May the 4th or Star Wars Day. I love Star Wars. I love it. I love it so much. So I was browsing Amazon like all of us crochet and Amigurumi lovers love to do. And I stumbled across something that I have seen multiple times, but never picked up. And that is the Star Wars finger puppets. Now I've wanted to do a kind of crochet kit video for a while. So when I saw this, I figured what the heck, let's have a fun May the 4th Star Wars themed video. And here I am with my review of the Star Wars crochet finger puppets. The first thing I want to say about this box is why is Luke Skywalker nowhere on this packaging? <laughs> I mean, he is, he's back here. He's not even on the side. Anyways, I just noticed that. I'm like, where's Luke? <laughs> so I'm really excited to do this review for you guys because I find kits like these really pull in non-crocheters and non-amigurumi makers that are kind of interested in learning the hobby and the art form. But not all of these kits are geared towards beginners. So if you've never crocheted before or you're new to amigurumi making, I would press pause really quickly on that cart and maybe hear what I have to say before you decide to actually purchase this kit. This kit includes everything that you need to make Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. I did find this kit available on amazon.com. At the time of recording this, which is May of 2024, it currently runs for $14. And I have seen it available at Barnes and Noble a couple of times. So you might be able to find this in some stores such as as Barnes and Noble. It might be available at a place like Michael's or Joann's. I'm not sure. I just bought mine from Amazon. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what comes inside. This is what the box looks like when you first to purchase it. Mine was a little damaged, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Here is the back. May the force be with you as you craft the heroes of the Rebel Alliance and their foes from the Galactic Empire. You can also see all of the characters down here. I think this Yoda is really cute. Of course, you get the stuff to make Luke Skywalker. Darth Vader, and there's so many other wonderful characters like Leia and Obi-Wan. And look at this little emperor. That is too funny. Opening up the package, here is what you are greeted with. You have the crochet book that has the Darth Vader and the Luke on the front. I like the size of this. I think these kind of small books are really fun and I love the Death Star. Now, I didn't realize this, but these patterns are by Carla Matrani. I did not know this when I purchased this and imagine how excited I was when I read that. If you didn't know, Carla Matrani is one of my favorite Amigurumi designers. So I was so excited when I saw this. I couldn't believe I didn't know that. It doesn't say anywhere on the box that she is the designer behind these patterns. And so once I read her name on the cover of this book, I became 10 times more excited than I already was to make these finger puppets. And I was already pretty excited. <laughs> now the book does have some information at the front where you learn about the tools and materials that you need. You will also learn about Carla Matrani in the back. And it does have a nice contents of all of the things that you can learn as well as the characters you can make. There are simple instructions on how to crochet certain stitches as well as certain crochet techniques and tips to embroider the faces and things. So there is some really good information in this book, but because it is a little bit on the smaller side, it doesn't have all of the information you would need to know if you are just starting off with crochet. So don't think just by picking this one up, you will become a crochet master. Uh, I wouldn't even recommend this specific book for beginning crochet padawans. Now removing the top here, you are met with some stuffing and you do get a good amount of stuffing, definitely enough for your projects. Then there's also some little odds and ends here. There is a crochet hook, some safety eyes, a needle, as well as some extra yarn that you're going to need for some details. The needle is very sharp and pointy, which I love. And then you also get a 2.25 crochet 
crochet hook. It feels okay to hold. I'm not a big fan of this style, but we're gonna try it out. Now this kit does come with a lot of black yarn, which is good. You're going to need that for Darth Vader. And then it also comes with more yarn to complete Luke Skywalker as well. Now all of this yarn is actually the Rainbow 84 Cotton by Hobie, which I was really excited about. I do like to use that yarn when making smaller scale Amis. And so it was nice to see that yarn included. Now, when doing a review on a book like this, I don't like to just make one or two of the Amis. I really like to get a feel for a lot of the patterns in this book. There are 10 different patterns that come in the book. You can make Yoda, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Leia, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, a Stormtrooper, Emperor Palpatine, and then I think this one is really cool to include. You can make Jabba the Hutt. So I did end up making four from this set. We will go over each one soon. That's it for kind of the unboxing and everything that is included. Let's go ahead and talk about the good of this kit or all of the things that I do enjoy about this set. Now, one of my favorite things about this set is the size of these Amis. We're gonna use Luke here as an example. <laughs> He's so happy to see you. But yeah, here is my Luke. And you can see compared to like my face and my hand, the size of this Ami. So these do work up relatively quickly. I love it when certain patterns work up super fast. I don't always have the time to make Ami Gurumi that take me weeks to make. So little projects like these are perfect for my collection. So I can make something quick fun and especially recognizable. Also, I do love that you are given Hobie cotton yarn. Now, I do think there's a negative to that as well, but we'll save that. But yeah, I think the fact that you do get the cotton yarn from Hobie is really nice. Sometimes in crochet kits, you get not the best yarn in the world. And so it was nice to have some yarn to crochet with that I know I absolutely love and that I do use myself. As far as the patterns go, I really liked them. Again, I thought they worked up fairly quickly, but as a person that is familiar with Carla Matrani's patterns and that has made Amigurumi before, I didn't have any issues crocheting these characters. Yes, the patterns are pretty easy and simple, but I do not recommend them for brand new crochet artists or someone who is newly getting into Amigurumi making. And my favorite thing about this kit and these little Amigurumi finger puppets is the fact that they're Star Wars. As a huge lover of Star Wars and overall just some nerdy fandoms, I love to create characters from some of my favorite fandoms and Star Wars is no exception. Now I did want to talk about the stuffing really quickly. Uh, this is all the stuffing I had left over and I made four characters. So you do get enough stuffing, which is always nice. Can you imagine how frustrating that would be to not have enough stuffing? Oh my goodness. And the stuffing was fine. It did its job. <laughs> I'm not very particular about my stuffing, but I know there are some people who are, so I apologize. I'm not the best person to gauge whether it's quality stuffing or not because, hey, it works, it works, right? <laughs> Another thumbs up for the needle that you get in this kit. I mentioned it before, it does have a very sharp tip, which is the type of needles that I like to use when crocheting. It is fully straight, it is not bent, so if you do like that bent, needle for your amigurumi making. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have that, but I love that it is also metal. A lot of times in crochet kits, the needles are plastic and plastic needles just ain't cutting it for me. So that's it for all the positives, but let's go ahead and talk about the things I did not like about this kit. So the very first thing I did not like about this kit was the crochet hook. This crochet hook was garbage. One, I do not like how it feels in my hands. I don't feel like I have terribly big hands, but even this was just, it's too small. <laughs> just too small to fit in my hands. I do love the 2.25 size, but this one just wasn't cutting it. And there was a lot of imperfections on like the throat of it. And so my yarn was constantly grabbing and snagging while I was crocheting. So I think I crocheted maybe one row if not two max, before I said, uh-uh, get out of here. <laughs> and 
I swapped it with one of my other 2.25 hooks that I like to use. Another thing I didn't like about this kit was yes, they gave you the yarn that you needed, but it was not labeled what the colors were. Sure, you were probably able to figure out the colors or the color code from the crochet book, but if you're brand new to crochet and you get a thing of yarn and it doesn't have a list of what the colors are, you might get a little confused. I don't know, it's possible. So I didn't like that they didn't name the yarn, but that's, I guess, just kind of a small gripe. One not so small gripe though, is I did run out of yarn. Ugh, it seems like every time I get a crochet kit or a crochet along or something where you get a certain amount of yarn with your purchase, I always run out of yarn. I always, always run out of yarn. And I was really hoping that wasn't the case for this kit. And I was looking at some of the Amazon comments and there are a lot of people that also did run out of yarn. I don't think I use too long of yarn tails, but then again, I'm not gonna have like micro yarn tails because what's the point of that? But for example, I wasn't able to finish Luke's hands here with the yarn that was provided. This is actually um, yarn from my collection and you might be able to see it, but it's not the right color. Uh, it was close enough though that you probably didn't notice until I pointed it out, but regardless, his hands are a different shade than his face, but that's okay. Maybe he wears gloves a lot and you know, he just has really nice hands. I don't know. But what's even crazier is I even messed up when it came to his neck. This is supposed to be his like skin tone for his face, but I messed up and used this more kind of yellowish beige color. And so I didn't change it. I wasn't going to frog it. I was like, it's fine. He has an undershirt on. It's no big deal. But the fact that I ran out of yarn and I still had messed up, I thought was kind of weird. Okay. So one thing I actually did forget to mention while filming this review is why I don't like the fact that you are given Hobie 84 cotton for these finger puppets. And my main issue for this is because it's not the easiest yarn to get your hands on. Not everybody has the opportunity to order yarn online. And I feel like especially a fingering weight cotton is really hard to come by in big box stores like Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby. And so it can be a bit of a bummer if you don't have access to order Hobie 84 cotton and you can't find that weight in stores, you're basically out of luck to make a lot of these characters. So do keep that in mind if you are interested in this kit. It does call for a fingering weight yarn and that might not be the easiest to get your hands on. Here is the remainder of the Luke yarn. So I had plenty of this kind of sandy beige color. So I'm wondering if you were supposed to get this amount of yarn, but in the more skin tone beige, but instead they kind of swapped it and you got a lot of the sandy beige color. I don't know, that just kind of makes sense to me that maybe that's just an error. But yeah, so I did have plenty of that beige color. I did have um, enough white left over for sure. And then the kind of mustardy yellow, I did have some left over as well. And you'll see with my Darth Vader, I did run out of yarn for certain aspects of him. So and now that we've talked about the good and the bad, let's go ahead and get into the four finger puppets that I made. So I did already show you guys Luke Skywalker here. Look at how funny he is. I love his hair. I think it looks so good. <laughs> it is so fun. He has his little white tunic here. He's got his little smile. I, I just love him. I thought he was so fun. Now he was the very first finger puppet that I made and he did take me the longest, but I assume that's just because he was the very first one, but yeah, he is so fun. Now, one thing that's really cool about these patterns is that there is like a little lid that you crochet around the neck area. That way, when you're sticking your finger in the finger puppets, it doesn't like go up into their head and the stuffing doesn't come out. It stops your finger and so it's full on a finger puppet. But yeah, there's Luke. He is so fun, love it. So next up, I made <laughs> Yoda. I couldn't not make Yoda, right? So here he is, here's our Yoda. I'm pretty happy with how Yoda turned out. I wish I used a different color yarn though. I feel like this yarn is too like Christmassy green. In fact, this was 
a little Hobie 8-4 cotton that I got in the Hobie advent calendar. It was a really small amount of green, and this is all I had left. I love his size. I love that he is actually smaller than Luke. I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case, but he is, and I think it is so fun. This one was definitely the fastest one to make. He worked up really quickly. It was pretty simple. I am pretty happy with him. I do wish he was a different green, but he's still really fun. Now the next one that I made requires an outfit change. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but here we go. <laughs> Can you guys guess who my favorite Star Wars character is? So of course, the next one that I had to make one because it comes with the kit stuff, um, but because he's also my favorite, it's Darth Vader. Now I am gonna take these off because I do feel ridiculous, but look at these adorable mini ears. Now I wanna go to Disneyland. Oh, <laughs> I did have plenty of yarn to crochet him. However, I did run out of some of the yarn for his details. So for example, you only got a little bit of this gray here and you were supposed to make his chain as well as do a lot of the details. I ran out of yarn when I made his chain. So I did have to dig into my stash, but there he is. I think he turned out really good. Now his uh, cape does need to be blocked, but I kind of like it. I don't know. It almost gives it that look of, you know, when he's walking, his cape's like constantly like flying behind him. So I think, <laughs> I think it just, it's kind of cute, right? I don't know. Um, I love him. I absolutely love him. He is going to be displayed with all of my other Darth Vader things. He was relatively quick to make. I thought he was gonna take forever, but he really didn't. All of the details and the sewing and everything took me maybe 40 minutes and then to crochet him, I don't know, maybe an hour. There is my Darth Vader. I absolutely loved making him and I think he looks so fun with Luke right next to him. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we are onto the last finger puppet that I made, but that one also requires an outfit change. <laughs> so, hold on. <laughs> uh, can you also tell who my other favorite Star Wars character is? It's Boba Fett. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to wear these ears in the park yet. Um, I actually just got these ones, but oh my gosh, I love them. I absolutely love them and I can't wait for this just outfit in Disneyland. Oh my gosh, I just, I wanna go back so badly. <laughs> the last finger puppet that I made was of course Boba Fett. Now, this one is my favorite one. I think he turned out so good. I did use a more kind of olivey green for him. I wish the green was more along like this line. If you can see it is kind of more yellow, but I still like it more than say like this green. I think that was too green for Boba Fett. Yeah, I'm I'm fairly happy with my color choices. I think he is so cool. Maybe it's because I love Boba Fett so much, but I just think this one is so cool, so detailed. It looks like he would take a long time to make, but it really didn't take long at all to make him. I just love it. I think he is so fun. I love his little details on his helmet. This one like fits the best on my finger too. I don't know what it is i think it's just because of all this like weaving in of the ends on the inside he just like fits a little bit more snugly on my finger and so it's really nice but yeah he's gonna be displayed alongside my vader and all of my other boba fett stuff i just love boba fett but i do think this one's really fun because i think you could easily transform him into the mandalorian all you would have to do is just kind of change up a couple of those details but use mostly like grays and there you go <laughs> but yeah that is is my Boba Fett. I think he is my favorite one that I made and I love him. So what do I think? Do I think you should buy the Star Wars crochet finger puppets? And well, like all of the other reviews that I do, the answer is complicated. If you are brand new to crochet and amigurumi making and you have never picked up a crochet hook before, I would skip out on this one for now. I would get more practice under your belt. 
I would understand a little bit more on how amigurumi are constructed as well as crochet techniques before you dive into this one. But if you're an advanced beginner crocheter and amigurumi maker and you love Star Wars, then yeah, definitely pick this one up. Now I do feel like this kind of theme is very specific to certain people. Not everybody likes Star Wars and that's okay. So obviously if you're not big into Star Wars or you don't have people in your life that are big into Star Wars, I don't see the need unless you really think they're cute and you wanna make them by all means. Personally for me, I'm really happy I bought this kit. I'm really happy that I made it and I think it was a pretty good value for what you get. I was able to make four super cute crocheted finger puppets and I now have the patterns for so many other fun characters that are gonna be so easy and quick to whip up. And as a giant Star Wars fan who loves Carlo Matrani, yeah, I... I had a really good time. But that's all I have to say about that. Let me know, have you crocheted any Star Wars puppets in the past? Have you crocheted any Star Wars characters? And if you do like Star Wars, who is your favorite Star Wars character? Or what's your favorite Star Wars movie? I love Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi is like my top Star Wars movie. The best, I love it. I love all of them, but Return of the Jedi will always be number one in my heart. <laughs> But that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. May the fourth be with you. And I will see you all a little later. Bye.